one of the important reasons to talk to you. you. You've warned us for a long time about what may come. Is now that that is upon us, your warnings have not weakened. You haven't watered them down. You are truly alarmed at, at what you've been seeing in the last week and a half. Yes, it's uh, nothing is unclear here. These appointments are not just poor choices in a traditional sense. These appointments, each of them individually, is historically bad. But taken together, these are not people who are going to be bad at their jobs in some sort of normal sense. Taken together, these appointments suggest an attempt to actually make the American government dysfunctional, to make it fall apart, to, 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 to pervert it, to have it do things that it's not supposed to do until it's not capable of doing anything at all. So, of course, one has to be attending to this. You, um, you, we can get into a conversation with the 11 nominees about who's, who really is unqualified for their position. You know, people are talking about the fact that some of these people are loyalists. That loyalists are often appointed to things, but usually they have some, some, you know, some kind of qualification. I want to play something that the former Democratic Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii said. She's the current nominee for the Department of the Director of National Intelligence. This was from February of 2022. Let's just listen to this for a moment. Presidents Putin, Zelensky, and Biden, it's time to put geopolitics aside and embrace the spirit of aloha, respect, and love for the Ukrainian people by coming to an agreement that Ukraine will be a neutral country, no military alliance with NATO or Russia, and therefore alleviate the legitimate security concerns of both U.S. and NATO countries as well as Russia, because there'd be no Russian or NATO troops on each other's non-Baltic borders. This would allow the Ukrainian people to live in peace. Aloha. Okay, I mean, I know folks from Hawaii say aloha in a lot of instances. That's not actually one of them that would be relevant. That was 33 seconds of Tulsi Gabbard telling you most of what you need to know about Russia, where she stands on this matter, with an adversary that has invaded an ally. Yeah, going back to your first question, it's not just that these people are not qualified enough. It's not just that they're totally unqualified. It's that they're anti-qualified. They're qualified to do the opposite of the thing that they're supposed to do. Tulsi Gabbard is talking in a moment when Russian forces are approaching the Ukrainian capital, when Russian assassination squads are attempting to kill the Ukrainian head of state. And she's advising people that all we have to do is summon up a magic word and in effect surrender all of Ukraine to Russia. It's an extraordinary thing to be doing. And it's not naive. It sounds naive, but it's not. It's it's what it's doing is trying to prepare the way for more Ukrainian suffering. It's what it is is saying, he who invades is right. And 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 that's the point I want to get to. It's not naive, and you pointed out in a in a post today that in fact the conversations between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin we now know have been going on. Elon Musk has been involved in those conversations and putting aside the fact that Elon Musk is a man who in three different businesses makes money from the US government and other governments now is going to have a seat at the table kind of oligarchy if 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 you've ever heard of such a thing. Um, this is this is part of a plan, something that they've been working toward this idea. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard, as you said, as, in as far as she's, as she's known, she's known as being a sort of a fan of, of Vladimir Putin and someone who carries his water. You, you tick down the list of all of these, of all of these posts, and it's the same story. Uh, Gates said justice is, is someone who could only pervert the rule of law, right? Hexeth and Department of Defense, it's the same thing. He's someone, I didn't mention this in the post, but in his book, he's essentially thinking about how um, American soldiers should be used against the enemies within, which is Trump's idea. You bring all these things together, and basically what you have is something quite coherent, which is the notion that the American government should be falling apart, American society should be in chaos, and that would be a very good thing. And of course, it's only a good thing if you're an enemy of the United States from abroad, or if you're an oligarch who thinks that somehow you're going to profit individually as everything else falls to pieces. What do you tell people? Because I'm sure in the last week and a half, Everybody's been emailing you and texting you and asking these questions. What do we do now? Um, we know some bad things have happened. We know things will get bad, uh, more bad, perhaps. What, what do we do? Yeah, you got to maintain your own sense of what is good. You have to maintain your own vocabulary. You can't normalize the other things that people are doing. If it's grotesque, you have to call it out as grotesque. And we have to, I'm afraid, like if we're citizens, we have to get past the post, we have to get past the post-electoral moment 
and we have to think in terms of what's coming. We have to stop being angry at one another and perhaps think about some new alliances. And if we're elected officials, we have to slow this down and give Trump early defeats so there's not a sense of momentum. All of that. You said something interesting, uh, I think, a week ago when, when we talked. Um, and you said, you have to remember that you're the same people you were before the election. Your, your values are the same as they were before the election. The things you prioritize are the same they were before the election. So do the things that you do to make the world around you better. Yeah, if you're, I mean, the whole idea of, part of this is to shock you into a different world. Right. But you have to take your sense of shock and say, okay, shock doesn't license my adapting myself to the new thing. Right. Shock means that something very wrong has happened, and I have to remember what I think is right and start from there.